We've told you a lot about the Trump entourage that has been showing up at Donald Trump's trial day after day, some very clearly auditioning for a VP slot. But take a look at these two men, Virginia Congressman Rob Bob Good and Virginia State Senator John McGuire. They are locked in a primary fight for Good's House seat in Virginia's 5th District, with voters going to the polls a little over a month from today. In order to be in a competitive Republican primary, these two men had to take their campaign more than 300 miles from their district with some vague hope of being photographed with Donald Trump and, you know, maybe getting an endorsement. I am joined now by Michael Steele, former chair of the Republican National Committee and one of my co-hosts on the weekend on MSNBC because we just don't spend enough time together, <laughs> sir. Weekend. <laughs> Our weekend starts early. But I saw this story. Here's the thing. We talked a lot about everybody who wants to be his vice president and the fact yes. that he flirts with all of them as yes. though they all potentially Although he's already Although he already knows who he's going to pick, but he's just toying with the rest of them. Well, he's getting a lot out of it in That's the right. process. He is. He so is. why do you think these two Virginia guys are there? It's a tough race. Uh, it's a tough race for them. That, that race is a hot mess. Um, and look, and the way in which it is a hot mess is interesting yeah. because this is a very conservative guy yeah. being outflanked by a by very, right. very conservative yes. guy. So, yeah, so this is the battle of conservatism. So I love it. I love the factionalization of the Republican Party right now. More of it. More please. More please. I, I, it's good because what it will expose is just how deep the rot is in the party. Uh, and it, they will, at some point, as this race will illustrate, there's more of this to come, particularly mm. if Trump wins, um, where they're going to start to eat each other, cannibalize each other uh, in primaries, um, because that is, this is the signal that it, the new dawn uh, is upon us, the new age of, of Trumpism is upon us. Uh, and this race is a good example. So good is in, a, you know, who was there first, to put it that way. He's got the interlopers coming in who's running further to his right. And I think you'll see more of this around the country. Wait, and of course, coming even, to New York. What does that way. even mean now, though, right? I mean, because you used to say, oh, oh this person's anything. more conservative. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything. What? It's all, it, it just means, it just means that, uh, well, you, you know, may kiss Trump's ring, I'll kiss something else. That's basically what it means. Sir, I was about to say, because I'm, I'm so accustomed to us being together just, at 8 in the know, morning, and it's know, too early I for that. I know the kitties are still up. So. <laughs> and the VP audition? Uh, the VP audition is uh, laughable. Um, because Trump knows who he wants. Uh, I, think, I think he has a very good sense of who he wants. Uh, and so why, if I can get you to tap dance for me for free, <laughs> guess what? You're going to tap dance, and I'm going to help you do it and, and make you do it, and I'm going to incentivize you to do it, which is what he's doing. The word went out in the party, very simply put. Um, the, the beginning of this trial was such that no one was there, not even his family noted. Uh, not even his family. So they found Eric and said, Eric, you got to go sit behind dad. And he was like, okay. And then Laura showed up and she's there, but then that wasn't enough because the wife isn't there. And the son is, the sons aren't there. Where's Ivanka? I, has anybody seen Ivanka? I'm just curious. Daddy's little girl, where is she? Um, she's not there. So the word went out, we need to send in the reinforcements. So everybody in the party now, giddy up and galley up to New York. And we're going to do the walk-in together. We're all going to walk in like something out of, you know, um, you know, a, an NBC crime story, you know, behind. You can just hear the dun dun behind them as they come through the door. And the reality of it is they look foolish, particularly when you show up in the same suit, same shirt, and same tie. Um, and the reality again, speaks to the point that everyone right now, particularly those auditioning to be his VP, um, think that they have the edge. And by doing this, by self-debasing themselves, by, you know, capitulating and going out in front of cameras and saying the foolishness that they say, that Donald Trump is going to love them more than the other. And in fact, he doesn't give a damn about any of you because you, he knows you'll do whatever he wants you to do. And at the right moment, he's going to say, the rest of y'all st step down, but still do what I need you to do. I'm picking this one. But, and they'll do it. But they're not just debasing themselves. They're fundraising from the courtroom. You have Laura Trump... Well, you can debase yourself in fundraise, yeah, too. There's many ways to I do it. Do, but look, you, you have Lauren Boebert already fundraising off of it. Of I mean, course. in some ways, that is, that is making a mockery of That's, the entire system. Well, of, they mocked it from the very beginning. Their whole, their whole stick is to mock the system, to go tear it down, and to make money off of that. What is... That doesn't distress me. None of that distresses me. 
you know, the idiocracy is the idiocracy. What I'm bothered by is how many more Americans, after seeing this crap show, day in and day out, continue to buy it. And they think the threat is Joe Biden when the threat is already in the House. Michael Steele, thank you, oh, as always. Great to thank see you. Thank you for taking the time.